Hi, Alessia. A greetings from Kerpen, Germany, Deutschland. Where are you now? In Hungary, still in Hungary. First of all, I see that you are in a car. Which part of Hungary? Uh, some beautiful part, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can you say something in Hungarian? Uh, yes, Kesenem. That uh, mean uh, thank you. That's Kesenem. all I know for now. <laughs> it's beautiful. So uh, today I wanted to discuss with you a very important topic. I believe it will be very useful to all the gentlemen who are currently in relationship with a Ukrainian lady already, who have Ukrainian girlfriends, uh, who are uh, building an acquaintance into a relationship. And to those gentlemen who just consider meeting someone to Ukraine, in Ukraine. So the question is how to be truly supportive in this situation? How mm -hmm. not to be too nosy, too pushy, but at the same time to show that he cares? Since I understand that everybody understands it uh, that uh, you can't just talk about the war all the time so alicia my dear professional yes. psychologist cupid can you share some tips uh first of all i want to uh, say to our um, very wise uh, gentleman uh, that um, um men psychology um uh, differs from ladies one uh, when <clears throat> a man uh, hears about some problems he wants to solve it uh, it's like um, a strict direction i have a problem solve it and ladies we have uh, a different uh, view on this situation sometimes we share our problems not uh, uh, someone need to solve them. We just share to talk. When we, um, um, how to say, pronounce our problems one, two or three times, uh, it makes um, us uh, more calm. And uh, it some, sometimes we even uh, find a solution by ourselves. I so, understand uh, your point. Uh, I, I want to maybe add with uh, yes. more English, if, if, you, if you let me, if you don't mind. So you mean that for a gentleman, uh, when the lady is sharing her problem, he believes that she expects him to solve it, to do something right now. Yes. And the lady, yes, yes. In like 85% cases, she is sharing it because yes. she wants to talk it out she wants to yes. lift it from her shoulders and she wants to hear it that he is ready to hear her that he is actually listening to her that uh, uh, her problem is important to him yes uh, that is why usually ladies we have a lot of friends because uh, to every our friend we talk just talk and we every time we describe our problems uh, one more time one more time and it's um, sometimes during these conversations we uh, find solutions sometimes no it doesn't matter we feel better when we discuss it yes and i can tell you that even uh, even like for a matchmaker sometimes i tell my husband because when i start mm -hmm. sharing something with him he starts giving me advice and I tell him that I don't need a piece of advice right now. I need you to listen to me very attentively. Uh, for example, when I'm reading him a new chapter of my book, like, please just listen to me reading it. And then we will discuss it. Just don't give me any advice. I don't need it. And for many men, it is hard to get this concept because... Uh, like real men, uh, they want to solve problems. They want to yes. do things. Uh, moreover, um, men, they are uh, protectors. And he wants not only to solve your problem, but, uh, problem, but also to protect you. And if we are talking about uh, the war, if we are talking about something that can hurt you, for example, if you are a lady, and then, of course, he decides to be a protector and the solver of a problem. But, dear gentlemen, you can't do this. 
in this situation, you can't solve this problem. You can't um, protect her and all her family and all her country, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So <clears throat> my my point is that um, nowadays, ladies uh, that uh, were in um, Ukraine, that uh, were in uh, some cities that are uh, not very uh, safe right now, they will talk and talk and talk about war. And it is normal for them. Many topics they will, um, how to say, uh, go round to and talk. round, like a roundabout. Yes. yes. So uh, it's normal for, for them. They just need to talk and talk and talk. And the main thing that you can do to support her is listen. Listen and hear. And um, <clears throat> I know that some gentlemen, I, uh, I face with it right now, that uh, some gentlemen, they try to support, support uh, ladies uh, who are from Ukraine. And they started to share something um, that happens in their life to show that they also have some problems. This is a very, very wrong strategy. Uh, for, now, for now, uh, believe me, your problems, how big they are, they are nothing if we compare it with, with the war, with the real war. So if she tries to tell you that she is uh, afraid or oh, she is afraid about her parents she is afraid about her i don't know dog cat flowers or something else you just need to listen and try to find some words to support her that uh, she needs to be strong she needs to uh, wait uh, she needs to be patient and something else but don't say in uh, in your turn that Oh, I also have some problems. I have some problems at work or at home or something else. Uh, this, this looks so ridiculous right now. You so can't compare it. You can't compare this. it totally. And uh, you, um, uh, uh, how to say this, uh, lady in this situation, uh, she uh, feels that she needs to support you. And she has no resources to do this. She is so exhausted by this horror situation that happens in her life. She, ha she has nothing inside to support someone else because she needs to be uh, supported by someone. Same, uh, same with being happy for someone because sometimes a gentleman shares something like he got a promotion or for example, uh, he bought good furniture. And you try to find it in yourself to be happy. I can tell you even a not a dating related uh, example. I have been on a, call, on a call with a matchmaking alliance in the US and uh, they were sharing like, I, I understand that uh, prior to the war, I could rely to these problems more like a client who had, uh, for example, bad mouse to date or for example, a journalist who had asked the wrong question. But now, in comparison, all these problems, they're even not small or shallow. They're like nothing, and you can't relate to them. So if you want to be supportive, first of all, you have to listen. You will never be able to understand what it is like to run from your city, leaving everything behind unless you have experienced it or having your parents there. Uh, so tr if you want to win her over, try to listen. Nobody expects that you will tell her like uh, which steps she should take to build her life. Don't try to do it because I can tell about the thing that irritates me like, like hell. It's like when uh, some uh subscribers from youtube friends from facebook they start sending me some links that oh you should apply for this program or you should go there or you should do this you must do this i have read this article i know that they mean well uh but uh the emotion that it builds in me it's quite opposite perhaps like a psychologist uh, you can explain why it happens explain uh uh, this is also a good point. Now, don't tell uh, the lady what she needs to do. 
because uh, you are not in her shoes and you hadn't in your life that experience that she had. And um, usually we don't know all the details about someone's life. So when uh, you tell someone to do something, you tell it from your experience, from your point, uh, how you could do in this situation. But uh, people who are from Ukraine right now, this is very special people. Um, uh, we have, uh, at least I can say that people that I was talking uh, with whom I was talking, they all say the same. Uh, I have um, like the hole in my head. I can't think about tomorrow. I can't plan something. Uh, I can't uh, leave uh, uh, and uh, thinking about future because I don't know what will be tomorrow. I don't know what will be in two hours. We live from cold to our uh, families, uh, par parents, and etc. to cold from one time to the second time. And uh, uh, planning is not what we can do right now. So I we can feel um, mm -hmm. lost in a sense. I can add that right now, gentlemen can tell that, okay, uh, now is not the right time to date. I can give you several examples. Uh, one of the couples, we have introduced them prior to the war and uh, uh, they are, you know, the couple in a sense that uh, not teenagers or 20 years old. Uh, the lady is in her 40s, the gentleman is in his 50s, and uh, they were both previously married, they are both divorced, and they have several kids, and uh, they have applied for a visa, a K-1 visa, a gentleman is from the U.S., prior to the war, and uh, they have started acting, like, uh, how uh, should she... Uh, reapply to this visa in Warsaw, what should she do, call in the lawyers, she has traveled to Warsaw, they have booked this appointment, so they have been, uh, they have been proactive about it, and uh, yes, in a sense, uh, gentlemen, are, I can't say that he was telling her what to do, but he was there for you, the, uh, for her, the whole time, he was there for her, talking to her, showing her that she is not alone, and then we had another couple that we have introduced prior to the war and uh, they were planning a meeting and uh, the gentleman was thinking about proposing during this meeting. But when the war has started, he said that it's all too complicated and he is not ready for this. And the war has ruined all the plans and he is blaming uh, Mr. I can't call him Mr. How we will call him. Uh, the guy in the bone care. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, he uh, was uh, blaming like even the president of the US, the president of Ukraine, like everyone, it's everybody's fault, even ours fault, because we have introduced him to her during the wrong time, he knew it was not the time, and of course they have broken up, because she is lost, she has evacuated from Kharkov uh, with her child, and uh, uh, he's telling her that, uh, you know what, uh, this whole situation in your country complicates things. So no support. And of course, they have broken up. And uh, unfortunately, I can share several stories like that. He is not a bad guy. So don't try to uh, call this gentleman a bad guy. That was his reaction to a stressful situation. And uh, probably later on, he will regret it. Uh, he will understand that he has lost a girl uh, to whom he was building strong attachment, strong feelings, uh, because he couldn't deal with all this stress. Um, so, of course, it is the matter of choice and the matter of natural resilience if you can adapt mm -hmm. to a situation and the way you can react to it. Uh, some people are less resilient than the others. It's, uh, it depends on our experiences, on, on, on many, on many, many things. So to claim that right now you have to just stop uh, dating, drop your communications and not to try to do it, I don't think it, it's smart. Uh, I, I, I uh, didn't, maybe I uh, tell something, it, some, some misunderstanding because I was not talking about the dating. 
I was talking about that, like you said, that your friends told you that you're supposed to apply for some program and etc. etc. I am talking about this uh, that mm -hmm. this is not uh, the best uh, uh, recommendation from someone uh, from from now. If we are talking about dating, um, uh, as uh, I can say my point of view that relationship and emotional part of our life is the main uh, important that we have right now this makes us stronger so if you have uh, some relationship uh, and the uh, boy and i will call them like boy and the girl uh, they need to support their relationship to take care of their relationship because it will bring you to real life it will uh, help you to survive uh, this situation. If you are not in a relationship, but you have someone and you feel that this is a person, you have some connection, you should, of course, uh, also work on this uh, relationship to make it in future something very big and very, uh, very good. I don't know how to say uh, so uh, I was not talking about relationship because relationship, I personally think that now it is one of the most important things that we need to have in our life. Um, I want to add that, of course, right now when I am meeting ladies, especially I'm, I'm meeting many Ukrainian ladies in Germany and I have met uh, many in Poland. Um, actually, it is interesting. You can hear people from Kharkov, the way they speak in Russian, because uh, the way they speak Russian in Odessa, the way they speak Russian in Kharkov, you can differ it. And people from Kiev and at once you start talking. And some ladies, when I suggest them to uh, meet, for example, a client, they say that, oh, I, I was not thinking that uh, I could be dating right now. Is it okay? What would people think? And I always answer that you should do what you feel comfortable doing. If you feel like uh, meeting someone and if you feel like talking to someone new, flirting with someone new, will get you out of uh, this stress and will help you feel better, why not to fall in love? Or is meeting someone still a priority for you? Yes, many ladies tell that right now they understand that building a family is actually more important than, for example, becoming the best manager or of the month or the best manager of the year and i hear it quite often uh some ladies uh, honestly tell that okay um, i can't think about dating right now i read news i cry i don't look good but the majority uh they are so resilient so i'm talking to people uh, i was talking to a lady she's taking classes in polish already uh, she says that I have nothing to do. I plan returning back home, but what if I can't return back home? I want to have plan B. So she is learning Polish. Some are learning German. Uh, some, they, I was talking to a girl and she has evacuated with her son and uh, she has applied for this refugee program. So they change, like she lives one week at one place, one week another. And she said that um, she tries to think about it as an adventure. She will see many towns. Uh, of course, nobody wants to have an adventure like that. Uh, when things are well, you want to travel because you feel like traveling, not because you have to change in like uh, your place every week. So people are quite resilient. And uh, many ladies, as they were happy when I have started reaching out to them, telling that, yes, I actually want to date right now and I want to meet someone. And, well, I'm in Western Europe. It, it, it costs like uh, $25 to fly from, for example, uh, Köln to uh, Warsaw. Or you can take a train for free with a Ukrainian passport. So why not to go on a date? I also communicated with one of our clients. She is uh, 32, if I'm not mistaken, a year old, very uh, beautiful. And she uh, told me that she, um, before war, she paid a lot of attention on uh, appearance of a man. 
and it was really important for her. And now she understood that uh, it's not the main uh, that she wants to see in her man, that she uh, value for some other um, qualities and she is uh, open and she's ready to meet someone. Uh, and uh, yes, a lot of people, they changed, a lot of girls, uh, they changed their priorities. Uh, this, doesn't mean, this doesn't mean, though, that she will date a man who is 20 years older than she is. No, no, no. It's not about age. It's not about age. No, For no, no, girls, no. because we have received so many requests from men who claim that, okay, now for sure you can introduce me to someone who is 25 no. years younger. No. No. And no. I have noticed this as well. Uh, so many ladies are... I was talking to one lady and she said that for her it was very important to date someone who is very easygoing, very outspoken, she, since she considered herself to be a shy type. And she said that uh, before the war, uh, I, I paid attention only to guys who were like the center of attention and he must be cracking jokes, uh, he must play the guitar, he must be this uh, very, very uh, easygoing guy. And she said that now, I don't want that. I want someone who wants to settle down, someone with a stable career, someone with whom we will buy nice furniture, someone with whom we will spend evenings at home uh, watching a sitcom together, someone with whom I can plan a future and know that he will be there by my side. So um, many people have really rethink their priorities Yes. This doesn't mean, though, that you should uh, drop, uh, go into gym or start eating no, McDonald's. No, 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 no. It's, it's not about that. It's something else. Uh, but we really think uh, some people started to think uh, differs with the beginning so, Alicia, of, of uh, the situation. Uh, the, the takeaway from this video, if you want to support a Ukrainian lady, become a good listener. Listen yes. to her. Yes. Don't try to uh, take all her words as uh, um, a direct what command. To do. Yes, <laughs> yeah. uh, what to do to uh, solve her problems. No, uh, in 85% cases, she wants to talk to you and she wants you to actually listen to her, to hear mm -hmm. her out and she will feel better after talking to, That's true. to you. That's true. Uh, second, don't... Uh, try to give her the directions to tell her how to live, to tell her what she should feel. Yes. Uh, you don't know how she feels. You haven't been in her shoes. So That's true. It will look ridiculous. Also, don't try to compare your problems to her problems. Mm -hmm. If you want to bring romance into this communication, you can talk about dreams. I think dreams right now is a safe yes. Topic. This is this is so important, and this is excellent idea to talking about dreams. Or uh, you can um, uh, how to say this. Uh, uh, remember to, uh, that uh, the time that you were together when you're spending some time even in Ukraine, maybe this also is a romantic part. If it is a new acquaintance and the people are just trying to get to know each other, talking about dreams and what you would like to do, uh, what you would like to see, your favorites, it's quite safe. Uh, I wouldn't go right now into discussing um, past, into discussing uh, her job, if she has, for example, lost it, if she's still working remotely, why not? Uh, but for many people, um, it's a hard topic. Uh, if she has, for example, left Kharkov and she was a hairdresser there and she misses her clients, she misses uh, the studio she used to work at. Of course, she can work in the new place, but still it hurts, you know, to leave behind everything that you knew. Yes, of course. Uh, for a lot of people who lost, all people who moved to, to some other places, uh, they lost uh, their job mostly and they lost... Uh, a lot of things in their lives, so uh, this is a hard situation. Hard situation, but um, um, 
I was talking about that if they were together somewhere, for example, they can remember these, uh, their feelings, how it was uh, good to be together and they want to make it one more time in the future. So this one uh, is helpful in this situation. Make some plans, a uh, dream uh, that, for example, okay, uh, we are meeting now by Zoom, but I dream to take you out on a real date. Uh, what food do you prefer? Should we go to a Greek restaurant or, for example, to an Italian restaurant? Uh, maybe you can even uh, start doing some planning. Like, for example, let's meet in this city. Let's look where we can go. For example, we can go to this place and then take a walk in the park. So uh, talking about plans for the future, making some plans together, it's also, uh, it, it feels good. I can tell you that first two weeks when I was not working and I'm so used to being busy to having all the Skype scheduled, these ladies, these gentlemen, filming the, video, the videos, I felt lost. But once we have started working and I knew that, for example, I will have a call tomorrow or I will have these meetings or I will have this interview, it feels good. So you can start doing some planning, uh, but this planning should be, uh, first of all, it should be realistic. If you can't meet tomorrow, don't do it. Uh, and it uh, shouldn't push the lady out of her comfort. If she doesn't feel ready, for example, right now to fly to the US because you have read somewhere, then there are some opportunities for refugees and she doesn't want to become a refugee because you know, you can stay in Europe as a tourist, I think 90 days, right? Uh, or you can stay as a temporary uh, Ukrainian who has uh, fled the war, um, then another rules applies or you can apply for a refugee. So, Please don't tell the lady what she should do. Alicia. Yes, I'm here. Um, have we covered everything in this topic? Do you want to add something? Uh, I think that this is the most important that uh, we need to say to our subscribers. And uh, also, if you have some questions, you can ask, ask us. Guys, we want to wish you love and we remind you that even during the darkest moments, uh, you can still fall in love. And uh, now our clients who uh, get engaged, apply for k visas, uh, meet each other, uh, send us news that they are pregnant. Uh, well, it's such a huge inspiration. And of course, it's a reminder that uh, life hasn't stopped and we should fall in love and we should do that's true uh, what brings us joy and brings us uh, the feeling of uh, love that's true okay Alessia, uh, let's wrap it up and i i will see you in the next one bye 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 <laughs>